right, so then once I set my back foot, I'm gonna utilize how long this is to set me up for my front leg. So what I do is I get my comb and I measure it from the tightest point of the back leg. Oh, oh Doug. Tightest point of the back leg to the knee. So I see about how much length that is and I utilize that to see how wide I should leave this front leg. So based off those measurements, I know that I need to trim about a half inch off or so on the front legs. So when I'm doing my front legs, just like I started on the outside of this back leg, I'm gonna do the same thing for this front leg. I'm gonna start on the, the outside shape here and then I'm gonna work my way on the inside. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna comb it in and I'm gonna comb all this hair around his foot. And I'm just gonna scissor right above his toenails. Again, just being cautious of his paw pad. Here's the biggest thing that you just gotta make sure that you're being very cautious, always aware of where your shear's going. Never blindly scissor the foot. Cause if you blindly scissor the foot, again, you may whack off um, a paw pad. And those are bleeders. You do not wanna do that. I'm gonna flip my shears and come all the way around. So the tricky part about a Bichon leg is they have a column foot. And what happens is if you bevel, if you take all of this uh, right behind this paw pad and you take that pretty short, it's gonna give them a nice little beveled foot, which I love for all of my pet trims, except for the Bichon, because they should have a nice column leg. 